phone causes left right brain coherence increases intelligence uh, as measured by written IQ tests and also by a device called a neural efficiency analyzer which is a device that that measures the uh, actual efficiency of the left and right hemispheres of the brain and we discovered that when you use the neurophone for a period of time it increases the efficiency of the brain tested with uh, uh, multi-lead electroencephalograph it turns out that it increases right left brain coherence and of course we didn't know how the neurophone worked for 40 years after it was invented sometimes there's you know the fax machine was invented in 1900 but the fax machine didn't actually get on the market and, and start becoming successful for 60 years and the neurophone I invented that in uh, 1958 and in 1997 a scientist at the University of Virginia reconstructed a neurophone using very very high-tech equipment and discovered that there is an organ in the inner ear called the saccule and the saccule is, is about the size of a pea little tiny organ in the inner ear that's an organ of balance and it's got these small granules of uh, sand calcium carbonate crystals and when you turn your head it stimulates nerves so it tells you where your head is in relation to gravity and that's how we keep our balances by the saccule but it turns out that uh, in whales and dolphins and in some other animal species, some reptiles and snakes, their saccule is also a hearing organ. Not only gives them their location in relation to the gravity and space, but it's also a hearing organ that, that detects vibrations. And in whales and dolphins, it turns out it is their hearing organ that is used to hear ultrasonic sounds transmitted through the water and it turns out that in human beings that our saccules are ultrasonic hearing organs but only for ultrasonic high frequency above the hearing range of our ears but an ultrasonic hearing organ for sounds transmitted physically through the body through the blood and through the bones and through the, through the body but only if we were immersed in water and the ultrasonic sound is being transmitted through water and that revelation as that's 40 years after I invented the neurophone and it turns out that we have that in common with whales and dolphins our saccules are ultrasonic hearing organs for sounds transmitted physically to the body through water or now with my neurophone through these ultrasonic transducers that you place on the head and they transmit ultrasonic sound into the skull and into the body the same way as if you were immersed in water receiving ultrasonic sound transmitted by whales and dolphins. Whales and dolphins are the only species in the ocean that transmit ultrasonic sound and receive ultrasonic sound through their saccules. Human beings can do the same thing and so 40 years after the discovery of that so this is that spiral coming around and then I had some very profound revelations and understanding about how the neurophone works and so the neurophone is is uh, with this new knowledge I'm developing new neurophones but right now the old ones work perfectly well Thank you.